Well, hi there, it's Sandy Aldock, and I have a bright and cheerful page that I'm going to share today all about neighbors in my neighborhood. And I'm going to be journaling in Matthew chapter 22, a very well-known passage. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and prophets hang on these two commandments. What a powerful summation of the law, isn't it? Well, before I start on the pencil work, I thought I'd show you on a piece of paper and a pen, with a pen how I'm developing this scene. And it's by putting whatever's in the front down first. And I'm starting at the bottom, working my way up to the top. And I'm going to put a bunch of trees, just kind of, scallopy shapes and triangles and stuff to make whatever kind of trees and then start building the houses in and tucking them in behind and what I mean is like the first floor or the door in general doesn't show there's no yard that shows so that they look like they're all kind of piled on top of each other in a hillside I've seen people try something like this and they've ended up you know drawing the whole front yard of each house and then the, they look like they're sit, the houses are sitting on top of trees and strange things like that. But if you want them all to be tucked in, then just cut off the bottom of them so that they go down behind each one of the trees and things they're in front of. And of course, adding trees in between some of the houses. I'm using polychromos pencils and this first hillside I wanted a journal on top of, so I made it a light color and went from yellows to oranges and tried to make it really pretty solid in terms of the amount of pencil and then took out my little baby oil jar that has a cotton ball in it and tapped a blending stump in it so that I could do some blending and this is baby oil so if I got oil on the paper and there's no pencil barrier between the oil and the, the paper itself then I'd get a little spot on the back uh, like a little grease spot and I've struggled with that in the past because I try to sometimes blend things out to white and what I found is that if I wanted something to be white, I just put white pencil down. And then I could use the blending stump and stuff on it, but I get nothing on the back as long as I have good solid pencil underneath each one. So I'm going to speed this up and kind of move on through it. The prayers for my neighbors. We're in the shelter in place season right now. And just praying for my neighbors. I, I see them more now than I normally do. Normally they're all off at work. I work at home, but they're all off at work and I don't see people all that often. But I, what, what I find is we're all outside. When you see somebody walk by, you just kind of run out and say, hey, and we of course keep our distance from each other and maintain our social, social distance. But I have discovered my neighbors have needs I didn't know of and I can pray for them in specific ways. Because I know more names than I ever did before. It's kind of amazing, isn't it? That once we start to get to know people, <laughs> I know our church is always reminding us to talk to neighbors and invite them to church and that sort of thing. But I, yeah, I'm kind of shy in general, but this has made me want to go out and see people. Now that thing I just showed a second ago is a paint stick and I stapled a few sheets of fine sandpaper on it so that I could sharpen this blending stump because blending stumps you can't put in a sharpener, but you kind of want to clean them off and the sharpen, you know, sharpening it on that paper both makes it a little bit more pointy and cleans it off a little bit, which is helpful when you're changing from one color to another so you don't contaminate from one to the next. But the rest of this, I'm just going to keep building houses as they go up in my process for doing this whole thing because it took quite a bit of time to do this with all these little tiny houses and I added lots of little tiny details to them in pencil and in white pen but my process included in my mind walking up and down my street and thinking about each house and the residents in it and praying for each one house by house and you know thinking of the one to the left of me and then the one to the right of me and in my mind's eye, just picturing who those people are and what they look like, how many people I know are in their house and praying for each one individually. And one of the things that has happened and has been a little bit of a 
transformation. You know, we can't change our circumstances, but we can change how we react to them. I have some neighbors who haven't really gotten the whole social distance thing down as of yet, hoping that that changes at some point, but they have not. They continue to have parties every weekend and they play pickup basketball outside and this is just nerve nerve wracking for me because I worry for them. I worry for our neighborhood and that sort of thing. So I, it was a struggle for me to just let go of some of that and just release them to the Lord and just let him take care of them because I can't fix it. Clearly, I have tried explaining social distancing and have not gotten anywhere. So I began to pray for them for their salvation, for their provision, for their family, for their extended family, for all these people who keep coming to our neighborhood to see them, uh, praying for just everything I could think of for these particular people. So if you have a neighbor that you have a dispute with, it's helpful to just stop thinking about the dispute and whatever it is that, that makes you grumpy about them and just release them to the Lord's care. And let him be the one to figure out what they even need. Because I can say they need to get smarter and they need to do what I think they should do. But maybe they have different needs. So I let the Holy Spirit guide my prayers and, and to help me to understand more of where they are as people. And what, what I can pray for that can be of help to them in their lives in general. And not just what's going to help me as a human <laughs> living in my neighborhood, etc. Anyway, so here's the finish one, and I have a few teeny tiny spots where uh, there's a little tiny bit of the baby oil that got through, but I did pretty well otherwise. Had some really good solid color. I do have a little bit of curling going on, and here's a tip for curled pages. I just put a pencil under it, kind of lean my finger against it, and then pull the two kind of together so that it curls it back in the other direction. So I do a little bit at the top, a little bit at the bottom, and if it's really, really curly, you may have to do it a little more, but... Once you close your Bible, that will settle down pretty well. And then I did my journaling down at the bottom, and I added pandemic 2020. <laughs> so I would remember why I was praying for God to protect my neighbors. And then I filled in the little heart that I drew because my, my lettering didn't exactly come out even, so I had a little extra space on the right. So a heart filled in nicely. So there's my page for today hope that was something that inspires you or helps you in your journey with the Lord and your journey with art. And I will see you guys again next weekend. Take care of yourselves, stay home, stay safe, and we'll see you around the internet very soon. God bless you. Bye-bye.